After a shaky start to the closed beta, Battlefield 3 has finally opened the floodgates to anyone with the desire to go above and beyond the Call of Duty, and the processing power to do so. The true sequel to the most critically acclaimed military PC shooter is finally upon us. But does this visually spectacular monstrosity carry on the spirit of its humble predecessor? Or has a string of mediocre sequels left this series in bad company? Battlefield 2 Veterans Rejoice as the ability to go prone has finally made its triumphant return to the series. Combine that with improved bullet physics and Battlefield 3 approaches the realm of realism. Like all Battlefield games, Battlefield 3 gives the player the option of playing as different classes, and by extension, different roles. The Assault class carries rifles, which can be customized for close quarters combat or mid to long range skirmishes. In addition to taking on the role of Assault, this class doubles as a medic and can dispense first aid supplies to increase the health regen of nearby teammates, or utilize defibrillators to revive fallen comrades. The support class wields light and heavy machine guns to suppress enemy targets and stop the flow of reinforcements by locking down key areas with claymores or C4 explosive. This class can dispense ammunition crates to resupply teammates or himself, as well as deploy a gun-mounted bipod when prone or behind cover to greatly increase the handling of his weapon. The engineer is arguably the most versatile class as he carries a submachine gun in addition to explosive projectiles such as RPGs or Stinger rockets. The engineer is the king of vehicular combat as he excels in repairing or destroying ground armor and air support alike. Finally, the recon class takes advantage of an arsenal of sniper rifles, high-tech sensors, and heavy ordnance to efficiently seek and destroy enemy infantry. In addition to unlocking class-specific gear, ranking up while playing your favorite role will give you an access to a general pool of weaponry usable by any class in the game. This system introduces an amount of customization not present in many of today's popular shooters. Never before have classes been done as well as they are in Battlefield 3. Each class has a distinctly fun and different playstyle, and the accessories all make sense in the context of each class. What I mean by that is that the heavy gunner isn't also the field medic, which was the case in Battlefield Bad Company 2. If there's one thing that Battlefield 3 has to offer that the previous games didn't, besides the ability to go prone, it's balance. Snipers, who were notoriously overpowered in all previous Battlefield games, have received a considerable nerf in the form of scope glint. This will appear to the victim as a distant sparkle if an enemy sniper is taking aim. Also, knifing is now only effectively used to stealth kill someone, since the attack forces the player into a relatively lengthy animation. Face stabbing is also no longer viable since knife damage has been significantly reduced. There isn't a whole lot to say here besides, wow, this game looks amazing, and defines the phrase next-gen graphics. Normally, when a game looks this good, it's a deterrent to those with slightly outdated hardware. But much to my surprise, the game performs well and is playable with much higher graphic settings than what you might have expected your rig to handle. While the game is graphically stunning, the thing that really sells the experience is the sounds, which I give an 11 out of 10. Bullets whiz and crack by your head, the methodical thump of machine gun fires discernible echoing in the distance, and firing a weapon in a tunnel just sounds awesome. Battlefield 3 is a beautiful game, but that's not to say it isn't riddled with bugs. We here at Beta Tracker know that bugs and betas go hand in hand, but with Battlefield 3's release only a month away, I would be amazed if they were able to iron out all the kinks just in time for release. Jittery gameplay and jumpy corpses occasionally remind you that you aren't actually enlisted in the military in fighting World War III, but rather playing a great game that could be ruined by connectability and support issues. Since the beta is limited to one vehicle-free map, and any Battlefield veteran will tell you that vehicles are half the game, it's very difficult for me to make a prediction to how the game will come together as a whole. 
So let's take what we know into consideration. The most recently released game in the series is Battlefield Bad Company 2. Bad Company 2's campaign, while a little cheesy at times, was also pretty fun. Bad Company 2's vehicles, while scarce, were also very solid. And while Battlefield 3's combat was a little buggy at times, it's downright amazing. So is this the next Battlefield 2? Yes, yes it is. This is Battlefield 3.